Hello dear traders, you are watching weekly stock market review on InstaForex TV channel with me, Tahmina Salonova. Last Friday, the US stock indices opened in the black, but closed traders with modest losses on the back of mixed employment data from the United States and US air strikes on Syria. The Nasdaq Composite dropped to 5,877.81 Friday, losing 0.6% over the week. The Dow Jones Industrial Average slid to 20,656.10 by the session end. Its weekly fall made up 7 points. Meanwhile, the Standard & Poor's 500 closed the week with a 0.3% decline at 2,355.54. Last month, the US the economy generated more 98,000 new vacancies. The increase was the weakest since May 2016. Experts had projected an increase of 185,000 new jobs. The unemployment rate edged down to the 10-year low of 4.5% from 4.7%. After the labor market data release, trading was carried out in the red. Thursday night, the United States launched an air strike against Syria's air base in response to chemical attack in Idlib province. Such a decision points to a significant change in attitude towards Bashar al-Assad's regime, experts note. Besides, U.S. President Donald Trump and President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, held a business meeting at the Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. Retailing corporation, Walmart stores and aircraft manufacturer Boeing became the best performers among the Dow components, reporting increases of 2.1% and 0.8% respectively. The worst performers were chemical company DuPont with a 0.7% drop in the share price and Meta Holding Walt Disney with a 0.4% fall in the share price. Shares of a defense sector company showed one of the best weekly growth. The share price of a retail-owned producer of Tomahawk Mizzlis rose by $2.21 or 1.5% to $152.96 apiece. The shares of U.S. defense contractor Lockheed Martin advanced by $3.12 or 1.2% to $270.23 in price. You have watched weekly stock market review prepared for you by InstaForex TV channel. Good luck!